Okay, so let's do an FE type question for elementary statically indeterminate structures by using the force analysis method. So we know here this is going to be on page 270 in FE handbook 10.0.1. So let me write that. It's going to be on page 270. And I'm not going to use the handbook here for copyright purposes. So it's FE handbook 10.0.1. Point oh point one, right the new one so it's on page 270 and it shows the whole process you should you should use here but we want to focus we know it's going to be indeterminate here we have an indeterminate beam so for the indeterminate beam shown the vertical reaction at B is most nearly what so we know that we are indeed indeterminate right because at the pin we have how many reactions we have let's say this is a so I didn't write that. This is B, this is C. So we have AY here. Here we have AX. Here we have what? BY. And here we have CY. So for this, we know we have how many reactions? Four. So the number of reactions equals four. And the number of equations is how many? We know we have some of the forces in the x must equal to zero, some of the forces in the y equals to zero, and some of the moment equals to zero, and we have a single beam. So we have one beam, that means we only have three equilibrium equations for that beam, right? So number of equations equals three. So four minus three is just going to be what? One. So our degree of indeterminacy here, degree equals one degree of indeterminacy. So we know we cannot strictly use statics. We have to use some method. And this method is going to be the force method. I just like to cover everything that we are expected to know. So in case we see this, let's just go over this method. So we know here, what are we looking for? We want the vertical reaction at B. So let's write that as a given. So first, we want to find at B, the vertical reaction is what? By, right? This one. So it's going to be by. That's what we want to find. So what we're going to do is the process here is to look at our original diagram, which is this one, right? Then what we're going to do is draw a new diagram and we're going to remove the reaction at B, which is going to be called our redundant reaction, our redundant support. So we're going to remove, we're going to call B here the redundant support because we're solving for by so this is our original diagram and you can see this in the handbook as well they have a diagram below that where they remove that reaction and we still have a pin at the end and we have a roller at the other end and what we have is a distributed load so the distributed load is still there right and what's going to happen here is what we did was remove this, right? Because we're solving for BY. So we remove that and we can draw the deflected shape here. And it's going to be obviously just a smiley face. So we have a positive bending moment there. And we know that deflection for that is going to be the maximum deflection. No, sorry. The deflection at, at B specifically is going to be strictly in the center, right? So it's dead center there because we have a symmetric two on one side, two on the other side. So it's in the center and we'll call this delta BB. So triangle's delta, right? Delta BB. And we know delta BB is going to equal to negative five omega times L to the fourth over 384 EI. So that's the deflection and they give us that in the handbook as well. And these equations are typically found in tables. You can also find some deflection equations in mechanics and materials section for tables, right? At the tables at the end, it, we have a bunch of deflection equations. So that's that, that's the first diagram. Then what we do is add a new diagram and this new diagram, we're gonna bring back our reaction we're going to bring back the reaction by and the roller but we're going to take out the distributed load so make sure to remove that distributed load and bring back that reaction because we will have a new deflected shape right so for that you'll have a new beam and the beam here 
looks something like this. We have a roller. Then we have a pin here. And we're going to bring back this redundant reaction here, BY, which is what we're looking for. And we know this BY is going to cause some deflection, right? You can obviously kind of see how this would deflect. This beam will deflect like that due to that reaction, right? BY. So here we have a new deflection. And this deflection is going to be our delta BB. So this is lowercase delta BB. This is uppercase delta BB. So lowercase delta BB is going to equal BY, the reaction. So let me make that green. And we multiply this by the L to the third over 48 times EI. Modulus of elasticity times the moment of inertia I. So that's the delta BB. So we have this beam, this beam, and what this says is this original diagram, by the principle of superposition, this original diagram is going to equal, so we have an equal sign here, the original diagram is going to equal to what we have here, to this diagram, plus this diagram. And you can see that this, this deflection is going to cancel out this deflection. So the original diagram equals this plus this, and this is essentially the force method. We call this the force method. So we have the deflection here, we have the deflection, and we know since both of these, this deflection is going to cancel out this deflection, they equal to zero, right? So they equal to zero, so we have zero equals to the deflection delta BB plus the deflection lowercase delta bb so now all we have to do is solve for that we know this is what we're gonna solve for by right that's the end goal so we plug in that uppercase delta bb so it's going to be negative 5 times w which is what's w here the distributed load is what that's given to be 10 so that's 10 kilonewton meter and we multiply 5w l to the fourth. What's the length of that beam? It's going to be 4 meter, 2 plus 2. So 4 meters to the fourth divided by what? 384 times EI. So EI, I'm going to assume it's constant. Obviously, it's just constant for the whole beam. So we're just going to cancel that, that out as we do the math. So don't forget this negative, right? We have a downwards deflection, and the equation here is negative. All I did was use this, and we know this omega, right? It's the 10 that's given. So that's that. Then we do the lowercase delta, so it's plus this equation now. All we have to do is put that in the equation. So we do by, and we multiply this by 4 meter to the third, and we divide by 48 times ei. And what you do here is cancel this, this. We know these are constant. You can cancel these out. So you have 0 equals to, so you can move this to the left side and solve for by, right? So it's just simple algebra. I believe you can do this by hand. Let me know if you get what I get. So for by, you should get around 25 kilonewtons. And we just found this reaction, right? So the whole point here is to use this force method because we cannot use statics. We're limited to 3 equilibrium equations here we have four reactions so we had to use this fourth me force method to find by and with by known we can finally go back and just use statics we can find the reactions at the pin we can find res this reaction right then at the end we can design our beam by having our shear moment diagrams so that's all for this one so it should be d so don't forget to like this video and subscribe and if you're interested in one-on-one -on -one tutoring, you can always reach out to me. Thank you and take care.